What's up, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of Full Kappa 7. It's been a while since we did the episode of What's in That Box. And today, I'm gonna show you what's inside that box. So today, we don't just have one box. We also got another box. So a lot of you guys may ask, we're missing something. It's Catherine. If you guys seen the other video, she's still under weather. She's getting better. Don't worry guys, she'll be back for next week's episode. Let's get to what we came here for. What's in that box? All right, so before I even go there, I gotta say a shout out to Lord Bergs because he's always about the go train. Train. You know, I shouldn't do that because I'm stealing his thunder. I'm kidding, Lord. I wouldn't steal your thunder. You're a good man. Thank you for that shout out on Instagram. Uh, so let's get back to what we're doing here. So we got two boxes today. What's in that box? So as a Funko hunter, the one thing that we love to do is go to the stores. We like to Funko hunt, grab it. It's a thrill of the hunt. But sometimes you just need to order what you want. And in my case, this is what I've done. So. First box. It's packaged really well. All right, here's what's inside the first box. We have, boom! We got Gwen Pool from Marvel, which is number 197. And I'm sure you guys have seen the new releases for this. There's three other versions. There's one from Toys R Us. There's one from, well, you got the Common. And there's another one from somewhere else. But I had to get this. If you guys know me, I'm a huge fan of Deadpool. So I had to get the girl version, which is Gwenpool. Here it is. Pretty cool. Oh, I have to say, compared to the other Deadpool, she's pretty similar. She's got the sword, which is also called the Katanas. But I love the pink eyes and the suit is to die for. You guys can see the pink suit going all the way around. If you guys read the comics, you know who she is. I haven't really read anything about her, but I just think she's really cool. Even the box is like, Funko, you guys did a good job. Very good job. Look at the artwork on the back, guys. Look at that, that artwork on the back, on the side. That is awesome. Now, a couple weeks ago, I got an email saying that, from Loot Crate, saying that some of their Volta stuff is up for sale. What do, you, what do you think I grabbed? What did you guys grab? Tell me what you grabbed in the comments below. I wanna know what you guys grabbed as well, but I only grabbed one thing. So, we got the Loot Crate box, and it's very small to be as you see. It's not your average Loot Crate box. So we're gonna open it up. Yeah, buddy. Now I have to say, Loot Crate, you know us Funko Hunters out there love a crisp box. Why would you ship with no packaging around it? They gave me this. What is this? This is not packaging. Whatever. All right. The piece to resistance is right here. And it is Super Saiyan Goku. What do you guys think? From Funimation. Now it's not the Funimation exclusive, but this is part of it. You guys can see Goku starts out for the planet Namek, and I apologize if I say that wrong. After Gohan, Krillin, and Bulma go there, in the midst of his furious battle with Frieza, he awakens as a Super Saiyan, a warrior of legend. Now, we all grew up watching this. Look at the metallic on that bad boy. Look at his suit. This is a Loot Crate, ex ex Loot Crate exclusive. And you can see that he's got his metallic orange jumpsuit. You know, the eyes are green and he's got that Super Saiyan hair done. Oh man, this is absolutely fantastic to add to my collection. So, these are the two that we got for what's in that box. But, I'm not finished yet. I opened up this Loot Crate box and I was wondering, what is this? It says Crate pack Packaging Simulator for 2015. It looks like it's some kind of four player game. I don't know if you guys can see this correctly, but look at that. Crate packaging, one, three players, two to four. 
it's some kind of packaging game. So I guess that Loot Crate goes a little bit of the extra mile. And what they do is not only do they send you a Funko Pop, but they send you something to do with the box. Either it turns into a shelf or it turns into a, some kind of game. But it's very interesting. Anyways, you saw what's in that box. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. And we'll see you in the next episode. Later. And that's